the race for president right now and one of the biggest crowds yet for Donald Trump in a pretty surprising place, the liberal hometown of Bernie Sanders. Look at those lines in Ver Burlington, Vermont, to see Trump's latest attacks on the Clintons and a lot more. Hey, we see John Carl there for all the action in Burlington. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. Burlington is one of the most liberal cities in America. This is the place that first elected Bernie Sanders as its socialist mayor three decades ago. But for a little while last night, it almost looked like Trump territory. Wow, what a beautiful group of people. Rallying the faithful in Vermont overnight, Donald Trump tried out a new call and response to one of his favorite lines. Who's going to pay for the wall? Who's going to pay for the wall? I've never done that before. But in Bernie Sanders' backyard... Get him out. Take him out. Trump was repeatedly interrupted by protesters who infiltrated the rally. Get him out of here. Don't give him his coat. Keep his coat. While protesters aimed their fire at Trump, he targeted the Democratic frontrunner. I have my mindset on Hillary. I do have my mindset. Trump indeed has had his mind on Hillary and her husband, former President Bill Clinton. Our human rights. New Trump campaign video entitled Hillary and Her Friends shows Clinton with disgraced Congressman Anthony Weiner and Bill Cosby, and Bill Clinton with Monica Lewinsky. On the campaign trail in Iowa, Bill Clinton ignored the attack. If he wins the Republican nomination, we'll have plenty of time to talk about it, but if Hillary wins. Back in Vermont, the Trump spectacle was in full force. Hundreds lining up for hours to see the GOP frontrunner. It doesn't start for another four hours, but as you can see, there is already a line of people here as far as the eye can see. Many here were diehard supporters coming to see Trump for the first time. Others were still on the fence. I've never actually heard much of him other than, you're fired! Meanwhile, a new controversy is brewing in Maine, where the state's governor, Paul LePage, a Chris Christie supporter, said this about drug traffickers in his state. These are guys of the name D-Money, Smoothie, Shifty. Then he added this. Incidentally, half the time they impregnate a young white girl before they leave. Governor LePage's comments sparked a firestorm of criticism overnight. Hillary Clinton saying, quote, LePage's racist rants sadly distract from efforts to address one of our nation's most pressing problems. But, George, there's no response yet from Chris Christie. Okay, John Carl, thanks very much. Let's bring in our political analyst, Matthew Dowd, right now. Matthew, you see Donald Trump up in Burlington, Vermont. You want to say, what is going on here? But it's actually a pretty shrewd move. I think it's a really shrewd move for a couple of reasons. First, Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump both are fishing from a similar pond, which is independent voters who are working class whites. That's a very similar set of voters. I think the fascinating thing is the two anti-establishment outsider candidates the most are drawing the biggest crowds in this race. It's almost as if the visiting team, which is the outsiders, are drawing more fans than the home team, which is the establishment, in this nomination process. But I think fundamentally, George, what we have to figure out with the phenomenon of Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders is can they translate rallies into results? And we first have to have the first votes in about three weeks. Meanwhile, that attack on Bill Clinton, linking him to Bill Cosby, Anthony Weiner. Clinton not responding now, but could that blunt the Democrats' hope to make a, this war on women an issue in the general election? Well, I think it does two things. First, I think it helps Donald Trump in the Republican primary because the Republicans don't like Bill Clinton or Hillary Clinton. So I think it helps him there. But I think the second thing, it does more than a scandal. It reinforces that these are the candidates of the past, that Hillary Clinton is the candidate of the past. And as you know, George, in any election, people want to vote the future and not the past. And if they can do that, the Republicans can do that to the Clintons, then they're going to be a leg up in the general election next year. Okay, Matthew, Dad, thanks very much. A lot more on this Sunday on this week, including one of our guests, Marco Rubio.